Unmute yourself, Raya. Hello, my name is Ipsan. Okay, thank you, Isan. Next, please. Hello, my name is Melba. I'm from Indonesia. Okay, thank you, Belva. Other, please. Unmute yourself and introduce yourself. Okay, Roya. Hello, my name is Roya. I am from Indonesia. Thank you. Hana. Hana, I am from Indonesia. Thank you. Akmal. Hello, my name is Afsa. I am from Indonesia. Thank you, Faza. Hello, my name is Faza. I am from Indonesia. Thank you, Farah. Nur Aziza. Hello, my name is Farah. I am from Indonesia. Okay, Huzaima, Azalea. Hello, my name is Huzaima Azalea. I am from Indonesia. Thank you. Anyone want to say uh, your hobby, maybe? Okay, just unmute yourself and say what is your hobby. Yeah, okay, Ihsan, what is your hobby? My hobby is playing football. Great, Belva? My hobby is traveling. Okay, Roya? My hobby is cooking. Great, Hana. My hobby is swimming. All right, Zayma. Who's Zayma? Okay. Me is coloring. Coloring. Okay, Farah. Farah Nur Aziza. My hobby is swimming. Great, Faza. My hobby is cycling. Okay, Akmal. My hobby playing football. Playing football. Okay. Good. What is your favorite food, Hana? My favorite meatball. Meatball. Okay, it's very popular in Malang. Huzaima. My favorite food is soto. Soto, nice. It's time to have lunch. <laughs> Hana? Oh, you, you've done? Faza? My favorite, My favorite food noodle. is me. Noodle. Noodle, okay. Instant noodle or bak mi or pangsit? <laughs> Instant noodle, okay. Uh, Roya? Meat Paul. Meat Paul. Uh, Akmal? Fried rice. Fried rice. Okay. Uh, Iksan? My favorite food is noodle. Uh, Belva? My favorite food is fried rice. Yeah, okay. Uh, Nathaniel, what is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food, food mom, is um, um, soup and banana. Oh, great. What kind of soup? Shrimp soup? Okay. Dila, Dila, would you please to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Dila. I am from Indonesia. My hobby? My hobby is swimming. What's your favorite food? Mm, fried chicken. And what is your favorite animal? Cat. Cat? Do you have a cat? Yes, I have a cat. Okay. Anyone have a pet? I am. Oh, Bill. What is your pet, Nabil? 
Cap. And turtle. Oh, turtle. Oh, wow. So, how many turtle do you have, Nabil? One. One. Is it big or small? Big. Is it big? Or this? Wow, oh, very big. Okay, anyone have a pet? Nathaniel, do you have a pet? Yes, but that's my um, sister's um, pet, but I don't have a pet. My cousin's sister. Oh, welcome, Madam Daruna Kapoor. Thank you so much, Yuri, ma'am. I'm really sorry that uh, this confusion was there. No, so it's actually not joining in a minute. You know, while they'll jo all join, huh? Yeah, and yeah. So, you know, that's the uh, uh, time zone is always confusing. So, it's no problem <laughs> at all. So, with us already, uh, Miss Annie from SAIC Kota Malang. Miss Amy, would you please to introduce yourself to uh, Madam Taruna Kapoor from Ramakya Dadri? Yes, thank you, ma'am. Hello, ma'am Taruna. I am Amy. Yes. I'm a teacher in SAIC Kota Malang, Java, Indonesia. Thank you. Okay. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you, ma'am. Is that you? Who is she? Is Amy? Yes, ma'am. Uh, she is new teacher, English teacher in our school. Oh, great. Would you please uh, introduce, ma'am? Hello, my name is Karen. I'm new teacher in English subject. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, students, would you please to introduce yourself again? Because previously uh, our mm -hmm. collaborator oh, hasn't come yet. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> starting from Ihsan, I think Madam Darun already know you, but others hasn't mm -hmm. know you. Okay, Ihsan, would you please to introduce yourself? Yes. Hello. 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 Hello, ma'am. My name Hello. is Tan. Okay. I am yes. from Malang, as Java, Indonesia. Okay. Okay. Raya. Hello, my name is Raya. I am from Indonesia. Thank you, Belva. Hello, my name is Belva. I'm from Indonesia. Okay, Akmal. Hello, my name is Akmal. I am from Indonesia. Faza. Hello, my name is Faza. I am from Indonesia. Hana. Hello, my name is Hana. I am from Indonesia. Zaima. Okay, thank you, Hello, my name is Azal. I am from Indonesia. Thank you, Fahri. Hello, my name is Fahri. I am from Indonesia. Okay, Farah. Hello, my name is Farah. I am from Indonesia. Okay, Nabile. Hello, my name is Nabil. I am from Indonesia. Thank you. And Nathaniel? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Nathaniel Kalbi Badudin. I am Paul so from Philippines. I have a hip dysplasia spasticopedia since I was born. And my hobbies are to uh, videography, photography, uh, editor, and most especially my favorite um, interesting hobbies is to join um this class uh global classroom or international conversation club thanks for listening okay thank you for coming nathaniel you are very enthusiastic students thank you for joining us dila hello my name is dila i am from indonesia my hobby is swimming my favorite food is fried chicken 
Okay, thank you, Dila. And now we have Shreya or Lakshmi. Lakshmi. Uh, Shreya, can we hear from you? Yes, ma'am. And then tell about yourself. Okay. And Lakshmi, you also. The others are joining. No, why? Hello, everyone. My name is Lakshmi. I am from Ramagya School, India. Okay, thank you, Lakshit. And Surya? I study in grade 6 in Ramagya School, Darby, India. I'm 10 years old and nice to meet you all today. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. All. Okay, well, uh, Madam Daruna, we would like to share uh, the importance of... Oh, maybe you, uh, Madam Daruna, would like to say something. Uh, yeah, no, you will, yeah, uh, you know, sure. let my students join, let my teachers join. We have actually prepared for this, and my students are also prepared for this um, in such collaboration. We would mm -hmm. like to hear from you first, and then uh, then I think they will share what they have researched and uh, you know, they have made, and they will uh, share with your students. So that would be really wonderful, and we would really like to know from you that um, actually you are a very good photographer and a uh, I know that. So let's see what you have for us. And uh, we would really like to uh, know from you that what is the importance of insects and how yeah. should we get. So, okay, we have Asifa first. Asifa, would you please to introduce yourself? Welcome to the class. Asifa. Hello, my name is Asifa Ulur. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay now Bu Emi, you can share screen. Okay, um, before I share screen, uh, here yeah. with us, uh, there are some students from University of Muhammad Yamalang uh, join with us. Maybe mm -hmm. they want to introduce them. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It's okay, go ahead. Hello, everyone. Yeah, so we are the so we are the uni, uh, students of University of Muhammadiyah Malang, and now we are the students of volunteer in this school and teaching English. We are doing our KKN. Hello, pleasure to know you. Thank you for joining. Okay, thank you. It's a wonderful to have you all. I will share our session. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, that was when I visited uh, Salem, Tamil, that I initiated the Butterfly Club there. So, three. So, I hope after this you have an idea or any initiation to form any uh, insect. Clubs, eh, Ramakya, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we will meet because we will actually learn from you and definitely we are going to work for uh, this club as well. Okay, next slide to Emmy. Hello, my name. We are from Asia. We will presentation about the importance of insight. Insight. Hello, my name is Isan. Today we will tell you about the importance of insight. Insect to insect do not do not always in the Fair with human life, there are several types of insight that are very important for our life. There are ten types of insight insect. Are useful. Useful. It will be present by first person. Bye, Roya. 
Thank you, Isan. One, Lady Bug, he chuckled. Hello, my name is Roya. I will tell you about Lady Bug, he chuckled. The plowing Lady Bug is one of the most common insect encounter during the dry season. This insect will consume various types of eggs from peas that attach to the leaves on the plant. This insect will also act as predators of other harmful insects that can disturb your plants. Over to you, Fahri. Thank you, Roya. Two, Honeybee. Hello, my name is Fahri. I will tell you about honeybee. They are insects that very important to us. They help flower and other plants. In the pollination rocket, so that plants can grow and develop a shield. They also produce the honey that we consume. Faza. Thank you, Fakri. Three spider. Hello, my name is Faza. I will tell you about spider. Spiders are insects that are beneficial to humans. Spiders are one of the powerful insects to eradicate various other annoying insects. Spiders will also attack mosquitoes and even cockroaches that get caught in their webs so you can rest in peace. Over to you, Afsa. Thank you, Faza, for praying months. Hello, my name is Afsa. I will tell you about praying man. The praying man is a good insect or pest predator. Not not a few people would deliberately release release a few praying man mantis in in the gardens to fight the annoying insect in the yard. Over to you, Anna. Okay, thank you, Afsa. Five, Les Wings. Hello, my name is Hannah. I will tell you about Les Wings. Les Wings, or Rian Flea, is an insect bush body, has a greeny, greenish color and same transparency. This insect can cause various forms of other predatory insects such as or fleas that interfere in the home garden. Over to you, Farah. Thank you, Hana. Six, army battle. Hello, my name is Farah. I will tell you about army battle. Do to its habitat what is more often in wood trees. Army battles are very rarely seen. This table, this table of battle is the best, best predator that can protect the plants and flowers in your yard. This insect has a brown body and is often hidden among the trees and makes it difficult to see. Over to you, Beva. Seven, butterfly. Hello, my name is Belva. I will tell you about butterfly. Butterflies are insects that have beautiful wings and are responsible for pollinating plants of flower around the year. The text of pollination is very important as one way of the reproduction process of exciting plants. Over to you, Dila. 
Hello, my name is Jila. I want to tell about the example of an interdependent relationship between plants and animals. That is the rush that is the relationship between butterflies, nectar plants, and host plants. Nectar plants are needed as source of food for butterflies, while host plant is needed during the larval or caterpillar stage. Butterflies also help flowers to pollinate. Thank you. Over to you. Over to you. Over to you, Ulul. Over to you, Ulul. Okay, thank you, Jila. West, hello, my name is Ulul. I will tell you about West. His predators, the existence of wasps is very important in human human life. Wasps have an ecological role to habitat for use disturbing pests. You can imagine if this world there were no wasps to uh, eradicate various needs. Then automatically the number the number of pets that in her with plants will increase rapidly and damage a single plants. Over to you as well. Thank you, Ulul. Hello, my name is Azel. Nine. Nine dragonfly. Hello, my name is Azel. I I will tell you about dragonfly. Dragonflies are one are, are one of the most common insect in the lake and surrounding areas areas. This insect also has a fair, fairly long life span, which can live up to six months. You don't have to worry and when there are a lot of dragonflies flying ar around in your yard because dragonflies are useful for eating mosquito larva in paddle in paddles and prevening mosquito population from growing in large number to you Nabil thank you Azan then hello my name is here I will tell you about ground beetle. Go to its name. This ground beetle has a habitat to be in the ground. The presence of soil beetles is very helpful to maintain soil. Okay, maybe maybe have an uh, internet problem. Yeah. <laughs> Is lost network automatically be able to grow better. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. The natural way to heal inside pit. I'm Pelva. I will tell you about the natural ways to heal inside. Like, there may be time when you are gardening and tending plants. Steadily, there is a inside biting a part of your body. Inside bites have quite varied pain. Some only cause itching and some leave a prolonged pain. Here are some natural ways to cure inside bites that you can try at home. 1. Compress the bit, the bite from inside using ice cubes. 
that have been put in a plastic bag. Using ice cube and rarely sorens on the skin. Two, to reduce sorens and eating, you can also drip a teaspoon of honey and the pumped skin after being bitten by an insect. Three, cut the aloe cut the aloe vera leaf and drop the gel from the aloe uh, the leaf on the inside pit on your body. Let the gel from the aloe vera leaf drain and then clean. Wonderful, wonderful. So you can uh, how to uh, you can be bitten by insect. Okay, thank you so much. Wonderful. Oh. I must say that uh, it was amazing. The children really had a, had researched and really um, uh, abundance of knowledge has been given to my students. And uh, yes, we have got to know so many new things. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, before we come to Ramakia that is students, let's have Nathaniel from Philippines to present. Nathaniel, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Would you, Amy, would you please to stop sharing screen? So Nathaniel maybe want to share screen or can I start now, ma'am? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Nathaniel. Tell about the importance of insects. Do you know? Insects are very important because insects create the biological foundation for all terrestrial ecosystems. Example of insects is the butterfly. Butterfly plays a major role of the plants because they cycle nutrients and pollinate plants. It will also uh, it helps also the cold definition of soil in agriculture how important is it for it's very important because it performs important function in the environment thanks for listening thank you Nathaniel. wonderful very good. you you put the right uh insect because I, i'm butterfly lover <laughs> <laughs> okay mom uh, over to you Taruna, mom. Maybe your... thank you so much Thank you so much, ma'am. Shreya, we will start with you. Shreya. Okay, ma'am. I'm sure. And then you can, uh, and then you can uh, uh, instruct the other child to share, okay? Ma'am, actually, we have made a combined presentation. All, all right, all right. Then go ahead, okay. go ahead. I'm sharing my screen. Okay, ma'am, this is the PPT. Are you able to see it? Yes, we are able to see. But then it is very small. What? Uh, yes, ma'am, I'm slide. starting the slide. Yeah. You just wait. Okay, okay. okay. Welcome to Ramagia School, Dabri, India. This topic is insect. Presenters, Shreya Sharma. Hello everyone, my name is Shreya Sharma. I study in grade 6 in Ramagia School, Dhabri, India. Arush Dada. Please introduce yourself. Arush, please Aru, introduce yourself. Arush, please introduce yourself. Okay. Next, Parisha. Parisha Sachdeva, please introduce yourself. Hello everyone, my name is Parisha. I am studying grade 6 in Ramagya School, Dhabi, India. Anshika Balsar, please introduce yourself. There is Hi, some... Uh, 
Hello everyone, I'm Anvi Sanchukhan from Grade 6 from Agra School that in India. Okay, Lakshir Gar, please introduce yourself. Hello everyone, my name is Lakshir Gar. I am from Ramagas School, India. Lakshir Gar, please introduce Hello, yourself. Hello, my name is Lakshir Goyal. I will be studying in Class 6, Ramagas School, Dadu, India. Yes, Shabam, please introduce yourself. Yashika, please introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. I am Yashika from Ramagya School, Dadri. Apoor, please introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Apoor from Ramagya School, Dadri, Grade 6, India. Thank you. Akshat, please introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Akshat Sharma from Grade 6, from Ramagya School, Dadri, India. Um Pandit, please introduce yourself. Hello everyone, my name is Om Pandita and I am with your school Dadri Gate 6 in India. Radhika, please introduce yourself. Hello everyone, I am Radhika Vibha from Grade 6, Damakriya School Dadri from India. Okay. Introduction. Insect is a small arthropod animal that has six legs and generally one or two pairs of wings. Over to Arush. Okay. Habitats of insects. Insects that eat living plants, heavy wool, or Shreya, Shreya, just a second. Arush is joined with her. Just, just uh, see in case if he can read this because it's. I think it's this his part. Arush, yes. are you there? Arush, Arush, Jada. Arush, please read your slide. Continue yeah, then, so you I don't can continue. Uh, yeah, yeah. Habitats of insects. Insects that eat living plants, have you or or pretty, oh, what is this? Phytophagy. Phytophagy, that plant feeding, is one of the most common food habit, habits among insects. Perhaps half of the living insect species eat vegetation through their selectivity among the Immutable available host plants very widely. Parts of insect. Over to Arvi. Parts of insects. Here, can you move the slide? Okay. Parts of insect. The body of insects has three main parts. A head, a thorax, and a head bone. On the head are the an insect's compound eyes, its two antenna. They feel and smell things, and its mouth on the thorax. Insects have wings and legs. All insects have six legs, three pairs of jointed legs, and usually four wings or two pairs. Over to Parisha. Insects in your stick. Insects have a genus exoskeleton, a three part body, head, thorax, and abdomen, three pairs of joints, legs, compound eyes, and one pair of an antenna. Insects are the most divisive group of animals. They include more than a million described species and represent more than half all of known living more. Then half, half of all known living organisms. Over to Yashika.
hardly feel the hungry. Over to you, Sharma. Yash, are you here? He is not there, Bitten. Okay. Types of insects. Insects came in all shapes and size. There are millions of different species found all. Across the globe, most of them come from come from one of the seven main groups, mean beetles, bees, and their relatives, bugs, flies, butterflies, crickets, and dragonflies. Over to Anshika. India. Insect species. The Germanic just how many valid names of species of insects of insects and other terrestrial arthropods as groups have been difficult because of high levels of phenomena. However, the most recent estimates 1 million 13,825 named insect species combined in the catalogue of life is, is based on numerous separate catalogues for different taxa where synonyms have been identified for 827 17 species, equivalent to 82% of the estimated total. Over to Lakshmi. Life of insects. Many insects, such as a butterfly, have a lifespan that occurs in four stages egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Other insects, such as a grasshopper, do not have a pupil stage and inc incident go through the three stage egg, nephew, and adult. Thank you. Over to Lakshit. Interesting facts on insects. The number of insect species is believed to be between 6 and 10 million. Insect bodies have three parts, the thorax, abdomen, and head. Insects have two antennae. Insects have an exoskeleton. Insects have three pairs of legs. Some insects are able to walk on the surface of water. Bees descend and live in well organized. Only main tickets chirp. Insects are cold blooded. Worms are used as the primary producer of silk. Thank you. Wait. Wonderful. Okay. Over to Radhika. Okay. Insects have a treatment skeleton, a three part of body, head, thorax, and abdomen. Three pairs of joint legs, compound eyes, and one pair of antenna. Insects are the most deserved groups of animals. They include more than a million scratch specially present more than half or of not of all known living organs. Thank you. Riddles. Over to Akshat. Okay. Riddle number one. I am an insect. Half of my name is another insect. I am similar to the name of a famous band. What, what am I? Who knows the correct answer? Please write in the chat box. Yes, children, who knows the answer? You can uh, write in the chat box or you can um, tell us the answer. Nobody. No, ma'am. No. Yuri, ma'am, has written ladybug. No, ma'am. It is wrong answer. So you tell the answer. Okay. Oh, ma'am. The answer is beetle. So the answer is beetle. 
Like half of your name is uh, another B. The Beatles is similar to the name of the famous band. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the, uh-huh. that was a very popular band. Yeah. Uh, wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Over to Apur. So, riddle number two. I am a type of insect. You might see flutter by. I have wings so colorful. I am a dash. Who knows the answer? Write in chat box. Yeah, right answer. Butterfly is right answer. Butterfly is right answer. Over to Om Pandit. Om, are you there? Om Pandit? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please Jeta read out the reader. Yeah. Reader number three. Reader, where do bugs go shopping? Who knows the answer? Please write in chat. Did, uh, uh, Om, there are three answers. Uh, yes, one is, um, so what is the, at the flex market, yes. At the, right at the flea market, okay. Right answer is at the flea market, okay. <laughs> Thank you everyone for listening to us. Okay, so wonderful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, well, ma'am, I want to emphasize this, uh, that's uh, the analogy of the insects that suppose that uh, we we have a notebook. Okay. okay. If we never count the, the pages here, so mm-hmm. we never know how many pages lost, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, in the same way, if we never know about the insects around us, around our mm-hmm. environment, so we never know that uh, we lost one of them, okay? Mm-hmm. Very so, true. That's, that's the same way. So if we thought that this book is important for us, so we will keep it in the right way, in the right, uh, we put it in the right place. So. Uh, at the same way, if we thought that insects are important, so we will uh, treat it in the in the right way too. So we will mm-hmm. never spray the insecticide. We will never use the uh, pollu- pollutant uh, substance, and, and we will consume uh, water, light, or other uh, other stuff uh, wisely, like the. Like using detergent too. So let me show you something because I have uh, I have I rice this one. Mm-hmm. It's a caterpillars. So see that's the if this leaf okay. is free from semigal, so the caterpillar will live on this. Okay. If this if this carap if this leaf uh, uh so there is a chemical substance on it, so caterpillar will never live on it. So the caterpillars will also want of bio indicator of the the goodness or the healthiness of the plants or of the vegetable that we consume. So if you want to if you want to buy the vegetable, make sure that there is a caterpillar. And it means mm. uh, the vegetables is free from a chemical substance like insecticide yes. and other yes. other chemical substance that's very dangerous for our health. So, true. yeah. And very one true. thing, yeah, one thing that's uh, my question to you all: you, if you are afraid of caterpillar, and then you slam the caterpillar or you step on the caterpillar. Who is exactly the cruel yes. caterpillar Stealth. or human? Okay. You. 
Okay, my question is that. So um, please keep on your mind that uh, caterpillar do not uh, yeah do not do anything right. It just stay on the on the plant. Once you see it and you care of it and you do something terrible to it. So I think the one who cruel is us, right? Human. Because the caterpillar just stay on it and eat what it needs, okay? It doesn't take a lot. It just take what it needs. Yes. Not like human. We take a lot. Mm -hmm. And we spray this uh, lemon or orange. It's actually orange. We spray orange to uh, to eliminate our our caterpillars from it because we want the fruit from uh, the orange. Once we economically we want to uh, add or increase oranges uh, the oranges food, but we neglect other other needs of the other creatures. So. Please uh, keep in mind that in every living thing, in every uh, plant, there is other organism. That's uh, in one orange plant, there is caterpillar, there is a ladybug, there is a, a spider. So one one plant might be a home for many creatures. So if we want to do something on the plants, let's uh, think many times because it's not only plant but they home remember that if our home is destroyed or spread by a chemical substance so we will be very sad okay and the same thing so the caterpillar and insects other insects too so thank you so much well said uh yuri ma'am we should actually take care of uh, whatever living things are there because if we break that chain you know see how the planet treats us so uh, every um, insect animal or plant has its own importance so we all should take care of it and uh, then only uh, can the planet be healthy and so can we be healthy so let's be a little selfish and think that we have to care about the planet so we'll be taking care of ourselves so we have to care of uh, take care of all the uh, beings, living things, whether they are small or big. So that is how um, the cycle runs, you know. And they said, Yuri, ma'am, that uh, if the chemicals are there on vegetables, the insects won't be there. So that is a very uh, wonderful idea of seeing, checking that the vegetables have chemicals or not, which is again, if, if they have chemicals, they are, un they are not healthy for you. you are, it's a unhealthy thing eating chemicals. So, in a way, insects are actually helping you to avoid eating chemicals. So, they are our friends. Yes? So, we should take care of um, the insects and all the living things. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. And uh, one thing that's uh, if uh, insects also like mentioned before, that is also like a decomposer, that is also uh, like, uh, like dung beetle bee, Remember that it's a de decompose the dung. If if we do something bad to the environment and uh, the dung beetle be got extinct, so our planet will food off dung. So can you imagine that? So let's uh, be kind, be kind to uh, other creatures like it. So because uh, many people always talk about the hippo. Uh, uh, endangered animal like lion, tiger, uh, komodo, and also um, yeah, like uh, birds. But people rarely talk about the smaller animal like insects, mm. butterfly, dragonfly, um, beetle bee, uh, dung beetle, because they also, even though they're small, uh, remember that they also the bio indicator of the healthiness or cleanness of the environment. It's free, you know, that's, mm -hmm. it's free. Once they extinct, we, we have to create uh, like an, uh, tools that, uh, that to indicate that the, the, the air is uh, clean. 
But if we, we keep the insects uh, live around us, it means that uh, we have free indicator of the clean of what uh, of the air. So we don't need to buy. We don't need to uh, to spend a lot of money to this. So it's the, the nature uh, serve for us. So and let's let's be wise with the, it. Yes. <laughs> Yes, we should appreciate the little things. There are so many. So, the, so are the insects. So, we should always appreciate and take care of these little, uh, little, little tiny things, you know, which are in, in a way helping us. Yeah. Okay. Okay, mom. I think that's uh, maybe All you want to share something or? No, no. Let's have uh, children just so that we can take a picture, smile, and then we uh, say goodbye. So who oh, okay. we meet next? Okay. All of you turn on your cameras. Apurva, Akshat, Yashika, Parisha. Come on, okay. all of you. Let's open our camera and let's take a star picture. And it's the time of historical evidence that today we have discussed about the importance of the Yashika. animals, the insects especially. And let's uh, be wise to this small creature like insects. So... Okay, Ashika, Yashika, Akma, Ahri. Please turn on your camera, Ashika. Yashika, please turn on your camera. Yashika. <laughs> okay. Okay. You remember, so we much. keep planning. We will keep planning some lessons for them so that they can share and uh, they can learn from each other. Okay, sure. We'll uh, message you later yeah. after this, yeah. and I will organize with other teachers. And, yes, uh, yes. And yeah, thank yeah. you, Bami and all team and the students of Mama Dia University of Malang for joining us today. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.